Hello everybody and welcome back to Dante Arts Gaming and first thing on the agenda today is the Enthusiasts Class graphics card by NVIDIA, the Titan RTX um, and the specs were released today um, so if we jump on over here um, so the RTX Titan is obviously the new lineup taken over from the Titan V and yeah it looks it looks pretty good it's uh, on their RTX architecture so the TU102 graphics processor it comes with 46,008 cores, uh, 288 TMUs, 96 ROPs, 24 gigabytes of memory, obviously DDR6 memory type, and a 384-bit bus. So it's still built on the 12 nanometer process, and obviously, like I said, based on the RTX chip. Um, it features obviously the shading units at uh, 4,608, which is the cores. 288 text and mapping units, obviously TMUs as I said, and it supports DirectX 12, so that's brilliant. It's also bumped up with 576 tensor cores, uh, which is to, uh, to improve basically the speed of the machine learning and applications. And yeah, it looks pretty sweet. It draws its power from two 8-pin uh, connectors, it's PCI Express 3, 16 interface, and yeah, it's dual slot, uh, 266 millimeters in length as well. And it was released today at two thousand four hundred and ninety nine US dollars. Um, so, yeah, quite a, a a beefy looking card. Really, really nice. I do like the gold and the black. Um, and it's sort of half the price of the Titan V. I think that came out around about five thousand uh, US dollars, if I remember correctly. So this is half the price. Um, cool little illustration that they've got here showing you sort of the fans and the cover and obviously the vapor chamber they've gone with. Um, yeah, it looks, looks really, really nice. Um, obviously, your virtual links and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, so it's quite a nice looking card. Here's the pictures of it. So, yeah, really want to see how this actually works out because I know the RTX uh, 2080 Ti's, the founders editions, were dying and... They hadn't had great performance with it. Uh, obviously, it comes with an M. Well, you can buy an MV Link Bridge, sorry, for another further eighty dollars. So, yeah, it looks quite nice. Um, it has been teased in a couple of videos. Um, one of which was Linus Tech Tips on their WAN show update, and obviously um, Jay's two cents when he was uh, cutting open a water cooler to see about degradation and whether the mixed metals were causing um, corrosion with inside the system, and it was featured there as well. But, yeah, really, really nice to see uh, this come out, whether or not it's going to perform well. Um, it's mainly for your, um, your what was it, AIs and your learning applications, you know, deep learning. Uh, but obviously the tensor cores were there to, to help the uh, speed up the machines and the learning applications. But, yeah, if you want to see the all the specs, go over to Tech Power Up and it's all on here. You can see everything that I'm seeing in front of me. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually seeing these in action. Um, so yeah, that's the RTX Titan. Um, next, we go on to Intel. And um, this is from Hot Hardware this time. Um, so Intel's 40 nanometer plus plus uh, chip, the Comet Lake S, is what we're uh, hearing that it's going to be called. And this is actually quite interesting. So with Intel's 10 nanometer CPUs, they aren't ready and they're not going to be released until sort of the back end of 2019. Um, so they're obviously bringing this 10 core, 20 thread CPU to the market to sort of catch up with uh, AMD and what they're bringing out. Obviously, second gen Ryzen is going to be um, early next year. Um, but with this, this was uh, obviously found originally on a Taiwanese forum, which is sort of released before any of us got to see it um it would have been the us and then the uk not too long afterwards but yeah 10 10 nanometer um plus plus it's going to have a 10 core skew is planned so um yeah that's going to be quite nice 10 cores 20 threads and yeah this is sort of their next gen on from the i believe the coffee lake refresh that they have just recently done this is their next step um and obviously going from that on to extreme tech and like I said the 10 nanometer process uh, or CPUs aren't going to be ready until the end of 2019 they are having supply issues um, they really really struggling with this and uh, the production at uh, Samsung and the TSMC's um, it's good or better than the 7 nanometer nodes currently um, but yet 
you know, it's it's hard. We we want something new from Intel, so they brought out the ninth gen slash the eighth gen refresh, and they've obviously released uh, a new CPU recently again, um, which was what we saw at Computex 2018. And if you pop on over to uh, OC3D or Overclocked, he did a uh, test of their CPU, and it was basically getting up to 85 degrees and he had that thing called from the back of the chipset the front of the chipset he had a 360 AIO on it and he could just not get that thing um, to call um, properly and when he did and got it stable it was, it was I think 85 to see as I said so yeah it's it's disappointing that we're not going to be seeing the 10 nanometer processors from Intel until late 2019 and they're obviously bringing out Comet Lake in the meantime to try and catch up. And obviously, yep, yeah, like I said, 10 cores, 20 threads. How is it going to perform? None of us know. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it. And like I said, this was found on a Taiwanese site, which leads on over nicely into AMD's um, new chipset that they're going to be bringing out. So the Zen uh, 2 or Ryzen 3000. This was found on WCCF Tech and it's going to come with a new motherboard it's going to come uh, with the x570 so with ryzen 3000 you can use it on the x470s um, they're going to obviously have new motherboards and a refresh of those so going to be the x570 uh, still am4 based um, and it's going to be supporting as we can see here the pcie uh, fourth gem um, and it's going to be launching at computex here in 2019 sorry um, so yeah this is really really good for for AMD to be honest with you there's obviously what they're currently got now and uh, Mattities I think is the net obviously what it's gonna be called um, and it's gonna be yeah the X570 um, and yeah Ryzen so far year on year are uh, progressing better on better um, they've sorted out the uh, speed of the RAM issues that they had um, so XFR and the uh, precision boost overdrive are going to be, be working better um, PCI Gen 4 more cores as you can see here 3000 epic roam that I did and obviously in front of me as you can see um, 64 cores and 128 thread uh, server CPUs and for the high-end desktops 32 cores and 64 threads and yeah here's a list of three that we can see at the moment eight uh, eight cores 16 threads 12 uh, cores 24 threads and 16 cores 32 threads and sorry the series is going to be picasso and it's going to be zen plus so it's going to be the zen 2 uh, 3000 series and it's going to be released in uh, as i said 2019 on the next 570 chipset so they have worked out the Infinity Fabric. It's going to be working better. It's going to be placed on the uh, 7 nanometer process, allowing them to uh, increase the clocks, um, which is something that AMD do lack over Intel, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, Intel have always had the upper hand on the clock speeds, um, but their, or the frequency, should I say, uh, but have always suffered with thermals, whereas with AMD, uh, they perform great, uh, lower frequencies unfortunately, like I said they can't catch up with Intel, however their, their sort of temperatures of their, of their um, cores sorry, and the CPUs themselves can be kept under control and the, IC, uh, the IPC bump sorry, which is massive and like I said AMD year on year are increasing, they're improving, each generation they're bringing out is better and it's kind of, as I said, given Intel a some a bit of a nudge really to to if you can't keep up throw more cores at it kind of scenario which is great doesn't work in every single game because the more cores you have in games doesn't always make the game better because some are capped at certain cores but for workloads workstations yeah uh, these CPUs do benefit for, from the core rates that they have or as many cores as you can get but like I said um, it's given Intel a run for their money, uh, which is something everybody's wanted for quite a long time. And obviously, with a new CPU, is going to be coming a new motherboard. You don't have to go out and buy these, as I said, because they are backwards compatible, uh, unlike some Intel chips, uh, or if any at all. But, yeah, 
So that's been Tech News Update episode 13, guys. Thank you for coming along. If you did like this video, then please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. Please do click that bell icon for more uh, info from me and more videos. And I shall see you all in the next one.